Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte and this is a daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. If you're brand new to my channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. We do talk about a lot of fun things and I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. And also hit that bell notification so anytime I upload a new video, you are aware of it and you can watch it. I recently subscribed to the Nordstrom subscription box. It's called The Trunk Club. And as you remember, or maybe you did, maybe you didn't watch my last video about The Trunk Club. And the trunk that I got was a kind of a fail. Uh, there was a few things that I kind of liked but with the Nordstrom prices, you know that um, I would have to love whatever it was to keep it. Now, the way it works is it's a $20 styling fee, but that styling fee is waived if you do have a Nordstrom card and you do use your Nordstrom card to sign up for the subscription box. So, and then anything that you do purchase, that $20 comes off of that. I will link this, um, this sign up subscription below so that it's easy for you if you do wanna try it. Um, I think I get a percentage off of my next box and you get a percentage off. I think you might get $50 off your first trunk if you sign up through my link so I will link that I'm just super excited because I do feel like I was able to communicate just a little bit more about my styling needs hopefully things will fit a little bit better this time and I'm anxious to get going so stay tuned so I just got into my box and boy there seems to be a little promise in this box so hopefully some of the things fit me or they paid attention to what i was kind of looking for which i really appreciate they did send me three pair of sunglasses so i love sunglasses i can't see myself keeping all of this stuff even if i loved it but um we'll see how it goes <laughs> okay so inside the box you get an envelope and inside the envelope is a little pamphlet that tells you the prices and what everything is and the brands and everything and then you get these little stickers these little stickers are actually to put back onto the box back onto the trunk and send it off um, and and the way that you send it is really easy you just literally order a FedEx time and then you put everything back in the box put these little stickers on the box to seal the box and the FedEx guy comes and picks it up and it's all free so that's great to know and my trunk is, uh, they sent me 12 items. So I think that the, the way to do this would probably be to just try them on and then kind of tell you how much they cost and things like that. This is not a small box. I knew that because it was a heavy box. I do have um, two pair of shoes in this box as well as like, like I said, three pair of sunglasses and multiple dresses and you know skirts and pants and all kinds of stuff so i think that i'm going to end up loving something so let me go ahead and just start trying things on i put on a pair of high heels because this skirt is a really long maxi skirt and i didn't want to make it like a like have a short waist so i didn't want to pull it way way up i do have some wedges on with it okay so um this right here is a caslon tie waist maxi skirt and it's a double extra small and it's blue for $59. And then this tank top is a guest tank top. And it is a perfect rib tank, size small, and it's pink. And to me, it looks like a very, very light pink, as you can see. And this is $29. So I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show it to you and hopefully you can see everything. So here we go with the first outfit. It's, it's kind of thick, the fabric is kind of thick. It's kind of that gauzy cotton fabric, you know? And then this is just basically a basic tank. So I probably won't keep a basic tank for $29. I love the tanks from Walmart. <laughs> so this is cute, it's elastic here. It's kind of got that smooth waistband here and then it's elastic in the back. And then it has this little tie that you can kind of tie. It's a tie that wraps completely around and ties here on the side, but yeah. Tell me what you guys think. It's really flowing. I do see that it has a split or a slit in the leg there on the side. And I don't know that I would necessarily pair this skirt with this shirt. I just wanted to make use of the time and kind of try both things on together. Okay. This dress is a BB Dakota by Steve Madden. It's green and it's size small. 
It is a Joy Day Vivre Floral Smock Recycled Chiffon Dress and it's $119. It is a smocked dress through here to the waistline. I don't know if I'm supposed to wear it like this, which just doesn't seem as cute as off the shoulder. It's got a V-neck here and um, it does have a tear. It has tears here. So it kind of comes straight to here and then the tears start. This is a really long kind of maxi dress. I, I just don't... I don't know guys, this, this is just really, it's just not comfortable. It's not fitting well here. It's, it's kind of, it's just, it's too tight. This is just too tight up here, unless I did this. And I don't really think it's an off the shoulder dress. So this will be going back. What do you guys think of these sunglasses? You know, I love really big sunglasses, and these are really, really black and very pretty. This cute little top, and it's a peplum style. And then these rag and bone jeans. They're kind of cropped. They're very, very stretchy. I'm going to give you the um, all the information on them in just a minute. But this top is really cute. I really like it. Um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I, li I like the puff sleeve. I think it's nice because it does kind of, um, it is fitted at the small of the waist. And um, that was the problem before is they were sending me stuff that would fit the bust, but then it would not fit the waist. So I like this. I mean, I, li I know that the jeans, a little stretch is always nice, but these almost seem like jeggings. and. I certainly don't want a pair of rag and bone jeggings. <laughs> you know, if you if you squat down, they they ride down. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get, you know, and and rag and bone are just too expensive to be ill fitting at all. <laughs> Some Tory Burch shoes that I have been eyeing for a while, and I have a wider foot, so that's always been kind of uh, my concern was that these shoes would run too narrow. I mean, they are a little narrow, but not too narrow for my foot. Um, they do feel a little like my foot's going to slip out of them. Really cute, guys. Tell me what you guys think about those sunglasses, too. And I'm going to show you a couple of other pairs. So, really cute outfit, you guys. The, the bottom on this is pretty cute. But, you know, and the wash of these jeans are great, you guys. But the, the, the fact that they just feel more like jeggings... You know, I mean, they really do feel just like jeggings. They don't feel like jeans. And there's just a little bit too much stretch. Like, I would not feel comfortable at all squatting down. Miller Sandal is beige. It's a size 9, and it's $198. The Peplum Wrap Top is $49. It's extra small, and it's by Madewell. Kate Ankle Skinny Jeans, they're size 25. Rag and Bone, they're blue, and they're $195. So that is the price tag of the things that I just tried on. The first pair of sunglasses I tried on were, I guess you pronounce it Quay, but those were the ones that I tried on to begin with, and they're $55. The After Hours Square Sunglasses. These ones are the Quay, and they are the La Specs for $65. So these ones are the second pair that I'm trying on. So they're kind of similar, these like they're these are a little bit more cat eye I do appreciate the big sunglasses and they're pretty reasonable and I do like sunglasses that are more you know that aren't the wiring here they just seem sturdy I like that and they have a little bit of a gold to them so and they're very like blackout sunglasses and I just like that look I think that's really pretty and classy so those are cute and last but not least Last but not least, these are Quay sunglasses as well. These are the Aviators, and they are also $65. So out of the three pair of sunglasses, which ones do you think look best on me? Would you please help me out? Because I do need another pair of sunglasses. These ones do have the wire on the side, so they are, they are different than the other two. And I don't have a good pair of Aviators, but they feel a lot looser than the other ones. Just tell me 
which ones you would suggest. I would love your opinion. Here's a dress that is from State and it's $99 and it's supposed to be a wrap front midi dress. So I'm gonna show it to you. It's really cute. It's got like little, a star pattern with little eyelets, eyelet holes there. But I'm gonna tell you why I'm not trying it for you. It is a size four and I absolutely could not get this dress on. So I tried, you know, putting it over my head and tried putting it, you know, stepping into it. I checked for a zipper. Um, the one thing about this dress is it does have a little clasp here so that you're not gonna be left with an opening. But you guys, there's no stretch at all to this dress and I couldn't get it over my hips and I couldn't get it over my chest. <laughs> and I don't have really big hips. This is a size four, so I would say that this dress runs small. It is $99. Really cute dress if you're into this kind of thing. I think it'd be really, really feminine. I think it's really pretty. Uh, it just didn't fit. So, and I think if I sized up, it would just be too loose everywhere once I got it on. So it's a no for me. So tell me what you guys think. It's a reversible faux leather tote and wristlet. It's from a brand called Street Level, and it's black, and it's $49. So I'll show it to you. It's got beautiful reverse material here, which is like a nice le leopard print. And this is just a beautiful, a beautiful tote. I think it's really pretty. It's got a snap, a magnetic snap here. It's pretty straight lines, right? And then um, the inside is the leopard. So apparently you can flip this puppy inside out and it would look like that. So yeah, this is a real cutie. This is $49 and you could probably hold everything in there. So the one thing, because it's, in, it, because it's reversible, it doesn't really have any pockets to speak of. So, you know, it's just a basic tote. You know, I think you can fit a lot of things in there. The straps seem to be a nice length. And that might be a keeper, but we'll see, you know. Let me know what you guys think. I know that there's just not much to talk about. This is, it feels like real leather. It's really soft and supple, so it doesn't feel like plastic. And, um, you know, regardless if you're wearing this inside out or not, you'll still see that detail that detail and that magnetic closure is really neat so yeah that might be something that I'll consider you know let me know what you think well, that was what was in my box this time there are a few things that I would consider and then a few things that I won't consider because well for one the dress did not go on <laughs> I couldn't get that dress on to show you anyway so that's just an easy no Three pair of sunglasses I'm gonna have to choose. I definitely won't keep three of them. And then um, the shoes, the Tory Burch shoes, I don't think I'll be keeping those because they are 200, almost $200 and they don't, they don't feel very stable on my foot. Like I feel like my foot would go slip sliding. So I'm glad I got a chance to try them on because I have been eyeing them for quite a while. But I don't think I'll be keeping those. And you know what, there are one more pair of shoes that I didn't try on. Okay, you guys, these shoes are super comfortable. They are called Blair Five Slip On Sneaker, and it's a Vince shoe, it's white, and it's a size eight. And I typically wear like an eight and a half or a nine, so they must have known that these shoes run a bit big. They are $195, but they feel like leather, and I'm gonna show them to you. I'm gonna back up and show them to you, and then I will, you know, show them to you up close. Okay, so here we go. So they're the slip-on sneakers, they're kind of like, they remind me of like a van, van shoe, and they feel like they're leather, but they're very comfortable on the inside, and they would probably mold to your foot if you wore them for any period of time. So they're probably very well made, I would say, and for the price, they better be well made. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna show you the shoe. Really cute, really, really, really cute. So they have those little holes in the shoe and this padding is super soft, kind of memory foam like. And then there's a slight wedge on the shoe. So 
And it says vents there on the back, if you can see it. So these are a quality shoe, and they're more pointed than square. And I don't feel like they make your you know feet look like duck feet, you know. So um, I think that they're probably a really, really good shoe. I don't necessarily need a shoe like this. But you know, when you're shopping Nordstrom, you are paying the Nordstrom prices, but you do get what you pay for. So I think that this is a quality pair of shoes that they sent me to try. Okay, you guys, I hope you liked something in this haul. Um, you know, I there are a lot of really um, interesting things in this haul. I think I'm most impressed by maybe the sunglasses and the purse. I, you know, I don't really, I think the skirt is really cute. That's really all I can say about that. Please let me know if there was something that you thought was really nice because I'd love to hear your opinions. However, I think I might try Trendsend to be honest with you. I think Trendsend is the one that I'm going to try. But let me know your opinions. If you do want to try this out for yourself, like I said, if you have a Nordstrom card, you really won't be out any money just to try this stuff out. Um, you do get $50 off your first purchase if you use my link, if you buy $50 or more worth of stuff. So, and then I'll get $50 off of my next box. Um, you know, so that being said, I so enjoyed trying these clothes on for you and I always love surprises. So I like to look into the box and see what they sent me. They do like when you suggest things via Pinterest pages, um, pictures, things like that. And I didn't send those things in. So that could have made, you know, it harder to kind of choose things for me. Um, you know, so uh, who knows, but I will keep you posted on the Transcend video and you guys let me know what you think about this haul. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Like this video if you like this type of content. Remember to watch out for my Walmart videos every week and then I do post in between occasionally as well. Thank you guys for joining me. God bless you guys and have a wonderful afternoon. See you next time.